So today we're coming to Taoyuan. So first of all, Taoyuan is the city you might meet when you first came to Taiwan, because the largest airport here in Taiwan is called Taiwan International Airport, and it is in Taoyuan. So today, I'm going to lead you guys to traveling around Taoyuan, and this is also the latest series of my channel, and this is called Traveling Around Taiwan. And right now, uh, I'm in Taoyuan City, so let's enjoy the Taoyuan's beauty. So right now, I'm in the Nam Market here in Taoyuan. So uh, the morning market is a pretty special culture Taiwan because uh, we usually go to buy some vegetables and fruits and whatever in the morning market. And this is the morning market. And the old saying says the early bird catches the worm. So right now we're in Taoyuan and we can get some, grab some really great breakfast right here. And this is called Shui Jianbao. This is the dumplings. So right now, let's try the fried dumplings right here. And this is the is it fried dumpling. I don't really get it because they use the water and fried it. And that's just but bite. So the skin of the dumpling is really bouncy and not so dry. Cabbage in the dumpling. And the cabbage is really sweet and tasty. There's a lot of vegetables and if you love vegetables, you're gonna love it. So after grabbing the uh, the fried dumplings, and right now you can look across the right dum right, uh, fried dumplings, and here is the shaobing. People usually eat this sort of food for breakfast, and you can add some fried breadstick or some eggs right there, and it's gonna be very, very delicious. Traveling here in town, you definitely should try the local Taiwanese breakfast, and it's gonna be great. So the next Taiwanese breakfast we're going to try is called rice ball, and this is called apple rice ball, and also in the Nanmen Morning Market. And the rice ball is pretty famous for its fried fried breadstick again. The rice sauce smells smells really good. It's really traditional rice ball here in Taiwan, especially the fried breadstick. You should try it. behind me right now is called Jingfu Temple and most people here live in Taoyuan calls it Duaviu uh, in Taiwanese and in English it's called Big Temple it was built in 1811 which is during the Qing Dynasty uh, the Emperor Jia Qing's reign and it's very beautiful most people who live in Taoyuan came here to pray for good luck Kaizhong Shenwang originally come from Zhangzhou in China and right now uh, they came here to pray for good luck because they bring the, the, the Kaizhang Shen Wang to here. So Kaizhang Shen Wang protect all the people living in Taoyuan. So right now we are here at Ji Da Shaved Eyes. So what is shaved eyes? It's another Taiwan traditional food. And shaved eyes is a kind of eyes and it shaved the eyes. She's shaved the iceberg to shaved eyes. And then you can grab whatever ingredients you like, maybe you like mangoes or like any fruit or any special ingredient in Taiwan and we can try it! Definitely the most special ice here in Taiwan and now let's try it in Jida. Now after I pick my ingredients and now I have my ice right here and this is pearl, which you may eat them in the in a drink like bubble milk tea but this is pearl with shaved ice that's my shaved ice i really love the shaved ice yes so after i ride the u bike to the mrt station right now we're going to ride on the mrt of taoyuan and we're going heading to another great place of U bike I'm right now here at Qing Town Park and this is also called at Green Pond Park and actually in the ancient time 
uh, we know that Taoyuan is also called as uh, the country of hundreds and thousands of pond. It is originally for the agricultural irrigation use and right now it becomes such a great park. You can see what, what is back at me. There's a little girl right there. So he, she's my friend. And another one, we can see that there's a really big uh, bridge. There's a little tower on a bit. And this is called Eternity Bridge. Eternity Bridge, it points at the polar star in the sky. So next time when you come here, you can check it out. Is it really pointing at the polar star? Right now it's in the day, so I can check it. And you can see the pond in the middle. And right here, we can see that there's a lot of ecosystem, a great ecosystem. And you can see some really great plants here. And also animals and insects. And this is, this is really beautiful. A lot of photographers came here to take a look at the bridge and take some photo of the grass. And in the holiday, most people will come here and just play or whatever. Play. If you have a chance to come to tell you to definitely take a look at all the flights right here. So right now, I'm at Navato Hotel and you can see a lot of planes taking off and landing right here and those planes are really beautiful. You know, you can see a lot of planes in different country. you can see them wherever you have, wherever it is, but here in Taoyuan, as I told you, this is the largest airport in Taiwan, so you can see a lot of airlines like China Airlines or EVA or China Southern, what I see right now. So it's really beautiful. Definitely should take a look at all these things. So that's the end for the tour in Taoyuan today. I hope you guys really enjoy the beauty of Taoyuan. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And if you guys love the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. And make me know that you guys really love this series. And I'll make more videos about traveling around Taiwan. And there are also a lot of travel destinations that we, we didn't go in this video. And maybe we'll go there next time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.